Um, here we are. Getting a little blue. See any hint of that octopus swimming around here? No, but I can smell him. I can go left. Is this the coral? I'll bet all these miners were brought here by that octopus. Well, at least it didn't eat them. Okay, so Chipito will be okay. Out of here. Man, if I had only gotten that book back from Terry, I could really start <laughs> some trouble here. The Viva la Viva Wow, that was attempted to be Spanish. I'll bet all these miners Viva la Revolución. Le... Well, at least it didn't. I'm, okay, I'm done. My mouth is not working properly. Uh, let's see here. This is just miners. And then this is like I don't a. Know how I get down there without this current taking me over the edge? Uh oh. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 And crap. Now I'm stuck. Can I... Is this all I can do now? Is just walk back along this thing? Oh, and the current is pushing me? Uh-oh. Manny! Ah. Uh. The current, the edge of the world. This is the edge of the world. I just walked to the edge of the world. Whoa. There's a ship down here. Wait, I didn't really want to go here. Can I go? Can I go back up? It probably won't let me go any further than this. Yeah. Oh, man. So hopefully there wasn't anything that I needed to do up there. Can I go anywhere? Though? That's as close to the edge as I want to be. Is there anything interactable? It doesn't look like it. Is this her ship though? That's as close to the edge as I want to be. Where am I? What is happening? I can't do anything down here. There's no edges to walk to, there's nothing to look at or interact with. Alright, I guess I'll go back up? That seems weird. At least I know there's a ship down here. But can I go forward? I can't go any further forward? Can I go back like this if I keep clicking? Maybe. Whoa, I'm in a sluice! And up to the surface. Wow, that was wild. All right. I am unsluiced. And I guess the only place I can go is up this ladder thing? What the heck? Oh. This is a crane with the ship on it. Or something. Right? So this is operate... That's a claw. It's like a crane with a claw. And I could just drop it down and try to grab stuff. They just let me do this? All right, so. Is there anything to, like, grab over here? Oh, okay. I guess I could climb down. They must bring the core over here to be crushed. Either that or these are the biggest, meanest looking hair I've ever seen. <laughs> Those things are dangerous. I'd be ground to bits. Okay, I got... Oh, I guess I rotated the... How did I get... Whatever. So I drop this down here, this basket. This scoop looks heavier than my last ship. It's not a handheld device. It's not a handheld device. And this is just beach. 
Is there anything to do on the beach? If I walk to the end of the beach, will something happen? Let's find out. I'm not sure what the point is. Nope. Okay. I'm not sure what... What I'm doing with the crane thing. It just turned it over here. Can I, like, climb it? This coupe looks... It's not a handheld device. No, I can't. What's this way? There was an interactable thing the world, here. But not the edge I'm, I could jump, but the odds of me hitting that boat... Are, I don't have a long enough lever. Is that a rock? It's the edge of the world. All right. But not the edge I'm looking for. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure why I did this or what it's for, but hopefully that'll become apparent. At some point, can I go anywhere else other than up back into the crane controls? No. Obviously, I'm going to need to crush something at some point. So I can, I can drop the claw down. This is obviously doing something too. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to grab something from there, and maybe bring it over here at some point. But right now, I just want to exit. Maybe can I go back down this? Oh, there's a lever. I didn't see this. Oh, and I can jump off. Okay, well that's good to know. Okay, what does this lever do? How convenient. Stop that, probably. Cool. Oh, it reverses it. How convenient. Or or what? Okay, I'm back here. Whew. So that whole thing is a circle. Can I go in this? Yeah. I'm gonna sneak inside and look for Michi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. <laughs> Stupid octopus. Good advice, Manny. So that's good. I, I guess I know kind of what's around the outside now, and I can think to use it or try to think to use it. Mm, this door's locked. Okay. That's a dead end. This is just the... Whoa. Children's books. What? First things first, look in the garbage. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. <laughs> That's, like... Strategy number one in adventure Man, games. Ashtray, so fancy you could eat caviar out of it. Nice. Interesting. So it rotates. Man, is that what so the point is? I only steal ashtrays from bars. Uh, what's the children's books? Children's books. Now, how am I supposed to see that again? It's locked. To interact with it. Wait, what is... Th why is... It's locked. I w this is the thing I want to see, not that. Ugh. I'm really scared that one day there's going to be something important that I can't interact with because of that bug. And that's really unfortunate. So, I can interact with this. Hopefully, I don't have to take anything from here. It's locked. So, I can't do anything else in this room. So, I guess I gotta just go through the door. Oh, and hello. Manny, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. 
You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where is your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? <laughs> oh, Manny! Think of me. Then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. Whoa, whoa! Gladys! I'm gonna grind you to powder for that, Gaudon. Maybe later. Huh? But for now, he... let me just show you your Gl new office. Gladys went over the edge of the... Careful, oh. BB. The new boss is waking up. Gladys. That was upsetting. I like my old desk better. No drawers. Not moving any furniture today. So who are these little skeleton angel kids? They're like birds in a cage. This is sad. Hola, angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God! Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. <laughs> why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our, Our parents? parents? <laughs> 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 oh, oh no. Hey, hey, don't cry, children. Please, stop crying. Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> oh, jeez. What's yours? Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man! Yeah, go away! I kind of am. I was trying to do a good thing, but I'm also kind of a jerk sometimes. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're going to be sorry. Oh boy. This is a this is a real hard-hitting truth-telling moment right here with these children. What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchett. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Mecha you said that word to us. I told you he was bad. I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> you know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? I'm in the maritime <laughs> We can't do What a stupid what answer. Mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. On second thought, maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. Oh. Also, extremely good voice acting from these angel bird creepy skeleton light bulb makers. 
Nice cage you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us and let them make nests out of our bones. I'm the one who's gonna take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's gonna take care of us? We'll be all alone. <laughs> oh no. Of this game. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitch. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. <laughs> the only thing I can say is this. I feel I don't want to, but this game like wants you you're to say all the dialogue. Children. I'm glad you're in a cage. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> you children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. Huh. Interesting. Really, really sad. Interesting. So they're putting some. Are you here to rest? I'm working on it. You children just. Okay. Okay. So that's it. They're throwing chipped coral in that basket. He also threw his hammer at me. Is there any way I can grab that? Or did he not really do that? I like my old desk better. Oh yeah, he did. There it is. That would have been that would have sucked to miss. I could make a tiny little birdhouse if I had some tiny little nails and wood. <laughs> All right. Um. Did she miss? That's the door to the cage. Duh. <laughs> Fly. Be free. Go by Domino. Leave us alone. If we get out again, he'll hurt Meche. Fine then. Stay in there. He is mean. That's the door to the cage. Last chance. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> I want to reach in and grab in one there. of the coral things. I guess I can't do that. All right. Um. Oh, this is the locked room I missed. I couldn't go in before. Last. Boop. Okay, so you can't interact with it at all. He opens it and closes it automatically. Alright. This is Domino's office, I guess, where Miche was. And there she is. Oh, look, it's my Prince Charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? Oh, man. I think we need to talk. That's right. Start talking. You're the salesman. I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. Oh, okay. I'll just not explain. You have a lot of explaining to do. Me? About what? Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up... Here? Yes. Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, if they can fly... Let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> hmm. Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. So why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. Then what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. Okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Interesting. Now we can get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a saver. <laughs> we have to wear this stuff. Come on, we're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? 
can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? <laughs> I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. <laughs> what? I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, <laughs> why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? <laughs> But so I do hey, work for them, but they didn't gun. give me a gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. <clears throat> they didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, Manuel. Manny, why don't you... Interesting. So I have to bring her a gun to prove to her... Sir, do you have an the trust. I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. That's interesting. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and BB work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring. He's listening to headphones. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, Domino. He seems completely unaware of how close I am to escape. <laughs> I'm I'm real close. Domino. Domino. Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle, Issy. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss Hector that way. All right. You killed my best friend, the demon? <sighs> Manny. You can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's just not natural. What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know. I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh no, that's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead, telling everybody how we stole their double in tickets, now can we? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? None of it, all obviously. All the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the pearl. I knew it! You were getting all the good clients! I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod. Which I saw, by the way, last time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, hot rods like that just don't look safe to me. So it wasn't my fault Mecha didn't get a ticket. You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest instead of coming here right away. But I fixed that. Whoa. That is I'm evil. I'm you out of this dungeon. Manny, before I found her, she spent a year out there in a petrified forest alone because of you. By comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my uh, dungeon. Wouldn't you say? He's not wrong. One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny. We never touch the product ourselves. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls, unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. But you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. Why would we want to leave? Interesting. Nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. Are you about to lecture me about the winning attitude again? No. Slave labor, Manny. That's the real ticket to success. <laughs> all right. Why don't you just sprout?
about me like you try to put us a pato. That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative. Just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work, take it from me. And think about it. Once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. <laughs> I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns. Guns, I yes, have guns. All the transportation, and I have all the brains. Guns, what that's are important. What you gonna do? How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. Huh. He seems completely unaware of how close I am to escape. Alright. Well, there's your backstory. That was a nice little expository moment there. She wants a gun. Hey, about the ready to I Okay. Manny, talking isn't helping right now.